One of the questions that new traders always ask is, can I make money as a day trader? Well, the answer to that is, it depends. Are you willing to put in the time to educate yourself and then practice what you've learned? And it takes quite a while to really become comfortable sitting in front of your computer and executing trades. So let me go through the basics. Now, in my course, I teach six trade setups. How difficult is it to learn six trade setups? Really, it's not difficult at all. Trading is not complicated, but it's not easy either. So let me take you through a particular day, and this was Wednesday, November 1st. And on Wednesday, November 1st, the market moved erratically, as it always does. And as you can see, it was a day of considerable volatility. And the reason for that is because Wednesday, November 1st was an FOMC announcement day where the Federal Open Market Committee announces interest rates that, are, that they are setting for the coming period. And so that, is, that alone causes volatility. And so how do you know this is going to happen? Well, you first have to consult your economic calendar in the morning, and I use MarketWatch, to see if there are going to be any announcements that are going to come out during the day that might cause volatility. So that's a basic thing that you have to know. Second thing is you're going to read the morning news. Now, everyone reads the, the morning news, whether electronically or in a newspaper. And the morning news is great for giving you a, a point of view that might skew your trading activities. So the morning news, first of all, while it's interesting, it's not going to tell you which way the market is going to trade. And that's the real key question if you're going to be able to be successful as a trader. The fact is, the news is already baked into the price and the market typically doesn't do what you expect it to do. So it's better not to form a point of view based on the news. So let's go over to the chart. Again, this is Wednesday, November 1st. This is a three minute candle and there are five points between each horizontal line. Now, there are six trade setups, as I mentioned. Gap, support and resistance, time and price, trend, momentum, and candlestick. And these trade setups, first of all, you've got to be able to recognize them, and it's not difficult to recognize six trade setups. Certainly, some of them are easy to recognize, some are not. But also, in conjunction with trade setups, you've got to know your level of risk when you enter a trade. So you want to be able to place a trade based on the recognition of a setup and the recognition of what your risk level is. And so I'm going to point out to the fact to you that today there is a very visible gap trade set up and everyone knows what the gap trade is. It's when prices open above or below where they close the previous trading session. Other trades are not visible until the market moves throughout the day. And so as we can see, prices put in a very visible support at 42.22. And so taking a trade at the support level, let's say at, at two o'clock when the support had been well established, taking a trade at 42.22, not only was the trade putting the odds in your favor, but also your risk management was very tight because as you can see, if prices violated support at 42.22, by more than a couple of points, you'd get out right away and limit your loss to a very reasonable small amount. So that is a combination of trading using a trade setup in conjunction with risk management. So again, you want to know what the announcements of the day are going to be using the economic calendar. You want to know the morning news, but not to form an opinion. In fact, sometimes it's better not even to look at the news. You also want to have the trading zone on your chart because the trading zone, based on Taylor's book method, gives you an area of where markets are likely to trade, but it also gives you a range of where markets are likely to trade from the low to the high. And let me explain that. Determine the intraday low or high. Hint, the low will be printed first in a rising market. Then set the Taylor trading zone to that price. The other end of the zone is often the price the market will likely reach. For example, the market opens, prices rise. Is that the intraday high? Then prices reverse and go down. Is that the intraday low? As prices move throughout the day, we'll see which one survives. The white line indicates where the previous high was taken out, meaning that the intraday low is where we have to place our tailored trading zone. 
Here's what this looks like on an actual trading day. On this particular day, prices put in a low early in the morning and just before 10 a.m. tested that low but didn't take it out. So if we make an estimate that the intraday low was put in right about over here at the opening price of the day, we take our trading zone and we move it up to that intraday low to find the likely area that prices will reach the rest of the day. And where did prices reach? Exactly where the trading zone estimated that they would. So that's how you use the trading zone in conjunction with the intraday high. But remember, if you're going to be able to make money as a trader, you also need to take a course and you also need to practice what you've learned. I'm Marv Eisen at Timeless Dollar Trading Academy. Trade safely, use lots of patience. Oh, and by the way, uh, my site at TimelessDollar.com over here, TimelessDollar.com, you can get my trading courses right here, trading resources. Here's my e-mini trading course. I offer coaching. I have a free trading course that will talk about the tricks and the traps that the market sets and how to avoid making mistakes that cost others money. And you'll also be able to get the trade metrics calculator to, uh, to calculate your metrics and uh, the Taylor trading calculator right over here. You'll be able to get that on my site as well. And it looks like this looks like this. This is the calculator. In order to use it to get the, tail, the day's trading range, all you have to do is enter four numbers uh, on the open, high, low, close on a particular day, and the calculations spit out the rest of the numbers, do all the calculations for you automatically. And so that's my advice to you if you want to know the answer to the question, can I make money as a trader? Thanks so much for watching. Trade safely, use lots of patience, and I'll see you in my next video.